Hey everyone, it's Josh at Kenworth of Richfield. We are back this week with two very cool features on this six axle dump truck that we're gonna cover. One, Allison 4500 RDS. The other one, pretty cool backup camera system. And uh, it's red. As always, thanks for tuning in this week. Guys, we are gonna talk about this 2020 T880 from Kenworth. This is set up as a six axle dump truck. It's got a steel bed from Heritage on it. We're gonna get into the details right off the bat. Under the hood in this truck, we've got 485 horsepower, Cummins X15 Performance Series power. 1,650 foot-pounds of torque are shoved out the back end. The transmission, as I said, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. This does have that cool 100th anniversary edition plaque on it from Cummins. It's again, just a nice little touch for it. With this being a six axle dump truck, it only makes sense to have the wide base front tires on this. These are 425 Bridgestone M864s, as you can hopefully read on the camera there. Inside of that, we've got drum brakes, this uses an MFS 20 Meritor, 20,000 pound front axle. We've got 22,000 pound leaf springs under it, so that way if you come out maybe a touch heavy on the front end, maybe someone won't notice. This truck is what I like to call just right spec. It's got enough bells and whistles that you know that this is an owner operator truck. We've got the painted mirror covers here. Once again, we've got the Kenworth cowl mounted mirrors. These things are just sturdy. As you can see, I'm shaking the whole truck by doing this, not the door or anything like that. It's now got the Kenworth rain guards on it. Your engine heater plugs under here. This is one of the little touches that's inexpensive but works well to make things look good. We've got the stainless panel down here. In that we've got all of our pressure regulators for your pusher axle. 100 gallons worth of fuel here, polished tank. Back here we've got 11 gallons of def for you. That way you stay well within that two to one ratio. And on this side, yeah, we just happen to have a dual exhaust stack. This truck does use a full frame insert and riding on top of that, we've got a 21 foot heritage bed. We feel that they offer a really good product, especially at the price point that they're at. It's one of those combinations that's high quality yet not gonna break the bank. On the back of this, in the center of the top swing tailgate, we've got a single coal chute for you. All the wheels and tires on this are Alcoa Durabrite wheels. We've talked about this before. Simple soap and water makes for a really easy cleanup on them. And they're gonna look good for a really long time to come. Bridgestone tires up there. More importantly for the drives, we've got the M726 Bridgestones, 11R 24 and a halfs. As we start from those Alcoa wheels and go in, we've got drum brakes. Holding everything up, we've got a Chalmers High Center of Gravity Suspension. That's sitting on a couple of D46 Spicer rear ends that have 410 rear end gears inside of them. We're inside the truck now. I've got it running because the temperature up there says it's 88 degrees outside. That is Fahrenheit. If you're someplace that uses centigrade, then I'll let you go ahead and do the math on that one. Either way, it's toasty outside today. So, this truck is, once again, it is kind of what we do as standard dump truck fare. It's got the Dura Supreme seat material. It's got smart wheel in it. It has your standard gauge cluster in front of you. It's got a full complement of gauges over here off to the right. We've got both drive axle temperatures. We've got a transmission temperature, which is key with an Allison. We've also got all three pushers there in terms of the gauges for those. Air filter, fuel filter, just the basics of what you need to know when you're driving a dump truck. As far as switches go, I mentioned that the rear differentials do have lockers in them. Those are both on one switch. Your interlock there is on another switch. 
all three pushers have their own individual switches there. We've got a couple of spare switches if you want to add extra accessories. Once again, you can shut off the traction control and ABS in an off-road situation. As far as bed controls, this actually has a way to turn the body camera on here. Their strobe lights are there. Open and close the tailgate, it is air operated. We've also got your dump bed operation there too. Everything is in just the right spots. It's all easy to reach, easy to see. This is just, it's driver centric. That's the only way that uh, really you can describe this cabin. The big thing to dive into on this is that camera system that's mounted up front here. It really is a great system. It allows you vision that you wouldn't have otherwise. And granted, we've all relied on our mirrors for years. But there's always those things that you can't see and there's always those surprises that you get even when you're out on the road. This really does a good job of helping with that. So let's dive into that first. It's also got a pretty cool backup camera. There's even one here in the bed. So guys, this camera system is from ProVision. It's got a number of different views as we scroll through here. We can look at the back. The main view that you're gonna get as you go through here is you can look at each quadrant here. This has the space for two additional cameras. You can run one on the left, one on the right. This one is the front camera, and that's the one that's in the top of the bed there. Then there's also a rear facing camera, and that's tucked way up underneath the bed where it's well protected. As we scroll through and look at the options, this is the default option that starts up. That way, when you're going down the road, you've got the left and the right cameras that you can see. Once again, these cameras aren't terribly expensive to add on. The system's already here. This way, when you're going down the road, if you want to see blind spots on either side, you've got that availability there. You can see what's going on inside the bed and obviously what's directly behind you because we all know some people follow close enough that you cannot see them in the mirrors. This really is, it's a great add-on system. Um, this truck is specced out with it that uh, we did with Heritage. From the little driving that I've done in this truck, it's actually been really, really handy especially when I'm backing up in the lot and don't want to run into another piece of equipment. This, to me, is well worth the money spent on it. So the other thing that we're going to dive into today is this Allison 4500 RDS transmission. The controls are right down here. It's easy push button. It's the same push button that has been around for a long time. And it's been that way because it's so user friendly. Push the button to neutral, drive, reverse, shift up, shift down whatever you want in that it's it's there and it's available i was pondering doing a test drive with this and comparing it with an ultra shift or with a, a regular manual transmission and to be honest with you a lot of those have moved off the lot already so i don't really have something to make a direct comparison to in this though i don't know if we necessarily need to drive this off the bat because this is the same in terms of how it operates as your car or your pickup truck push the button and go. So in this, what I really want to dive into, because we are all familiar with this, is what is the difference between automatic, like the Allison here, or automated, like the Eaton transmissions. And they're actually very, very different in how they work. This is a torque converter based automatic transmission, very similar to the one in your car, just probably eight or 10 times the size. Now, you all know Allison's reputation for just durability. This thing will probably outlast some of the rocks that are on the planet. These transmissions are just bulletproof. Now, where I see the Allison having the biggest advantage over any other transmission out there is the smoothness. It's just like your car. You know it shifted, but you're not always sure, and especially if you're not paying attention to it, you have no idea that it shifted. It's that smoothness, and it's that predictability, and it's that just control that they have that it's amazing. And it's really, it makes for such a smooth ride in something like a tank or anything like that. It's just going to go. Also, in terms of the control that you get, whether you've got to back into a tight space or anything of that nature, this is really the king. Because once again, it's just like your car. 
as soon as you let off the brake, it's going to start to move either forward or reverse, whatever gear you have it in. You can control that right down to the inch of where you want to be very easily with this setup. In defense of the automated transmission, I will say that those have come a very, very long way. But in that inch control, the Allison's got it for sure. As I talked about the smoothness with it, the automatic in this Allison transmission, you're just not going to get any smoother. It's just constant torque, just constant power. An automated transmission, those have to shift. So those are going through those separate individual gears. They've come a very, very long way, but they're not to this smoothness yet. Now, something else that obviously has to be taken into consideration when purchasing a truck and selecting the transmission for it is price. The Allison transmission is quite a bit more expensive than a manual transmission or even an automated transmission. Part of that's the durability behind it, part of it's that smooth torque application behind it, but it's quite a bit more expensive. For you, you have to decide if that added price is going to benefit your business enough to justify it. When we look at things that haul boxes on the back, when you've got a, a hook lift, things of that nature, boy, the automatic just and the control that you have with that automatic, it's a great way to go. I mean, it's, it, it's almost difficult to run anything else. Other transmissions have gained a lot of ground, but there's certain applications where this is just it. So in summation of it, the Allison transmission is just a phenomenal transmission, and it's why we do spec it in a number of trucks. There are some applications where that's pretty much the only thing that we'll put in it. In the same sense, if it's the right one for your application, well, that's just what you need to decide on your own. Hopefully, I've given you some information so you can look at it and see what it does for you. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. This part of the week for me is always one of the more fun parts that when I get to come out and film. And B, even more fun than that is when I get to interact with you guys in the comment section. It's that interaction that really is kind of the biggest gas for me in all this. So do me a favor, put something in the comment section for me. The good, the bad, the ugly, I love them all. And really for me, as a salesman, I've always felt that my job is to help educate you, the consumer, in terms of what's going to be the best for your business. I give you the knowledge and you decide what's going to work the best because you know your business the best. So do me a favor, if there's something you'd like to see, put that in the comments below. Give me the thumbs up if you think I earned it. Stay safe out there, keep a rubber side down, and I'll catch you on the flip side.